The Trump family, including Donald, Melania, and their son Barron, are no strangers to the high life. They've built a reputation for living large with impressive real estate holdings, a stunning main residence that's more like a palace, an enviable collection of luxury cars, and more. So if you ever wanted to step inside the lifestyle of the Trumps from where they call home to the other expensive things they enjoy, then stay tuned. Let's kick things off with the basics. The story of how Donald Trump met his wife, Melania, Naus is one of luxury and glamour. The two crossed paths in 1988 at a party during New York Fashion Week. At the time, Donald was a real estate tycoon and a well-known public figure, while Melania, well, she was a successful model, often gracing the pages of high-end fashion magazines. Their romance blossomed quickly, and it wasn't long before they were the talk of New York's elite social circles. Their connection was based on shared interests, including a mutual love for opulent living, which was clear in the extravagant events and parties that they attended together. The couple's engagement came in 2004 when Donald proposed with a 15 carat $1.5 million diamond engagement ring. Would you expect anything less? They tied the knot in 2005 with an extravagant wedding at Mar-a-Lago, attended by many celebrities and socialites. Melania's transition to First Lady of the United States after Donald's election, it marked a new chapter in their lives. She took on her role with grace, emphasizing her commitment to causes like children's well-being and anti-bullying initiatives. Barron, the product of this union, has undoubtedly experienced a unique upbringing, balancing the extraordinary with the ordinary, all while growing up in the midst of a whirlwind of fame and power. Baron William Trump, born on March 20th, 2006, is the only child of Donald and Melania Trump. Growing up in the spotlight as the son of a business magnate and later president of the United States, Barron's upbringing has been anything but ordinary. Barron was raised in New York City for the most part, where his parents had a lavish penthouse in Trump Tower. While the Trump family certainly enjoyed the comforts of luxury, they made concerted efforts to shield Barron from the media frenzy that often surrounded their family. Melania in particular prioritized Barron's privacy, ensuring he had as normal a childhood as possible given the circumstances. Barron attended Columbia Grammar and Prep School in Manhattan, a prestigious private school known for its rigorous curriculum. His parents' emphasis on education is clear as they encouraged him to excel academically. As he grew older, Barron showed an interest in soccer, just like many kids his age. His parents supported this passion and he played for a local youth soccer team. Melania, who's fluent in several languages, passed her love of languages on to Baron, who is known to speak English and Slovenian. The Trump family's lifestyle, while opulent, was balanced by a sense of normalcy instilled in Baron by his parents, Melania and Donald. They ensured he had time for leisure, playdates, and family vacations. But I don't know, something tells me that their family vacations aren't your average. Donald Trump, the real estate mogul he is, he has a knack for acquiring and developing prime properties. Take for example the iconic Trump Tower in New York City, a 68-story monument to his success. It is not just an office building, it's the heart of the Trump organization. Their son Barron might have had his nicest living quarters thus far at the New York Trump Tower. Why was it Barron's nicest living situation, you might ask? Well, in his parents' multi-level penthouse here, he had an entire floor to himself despite being a kid. His mother referred to it as Barron's living room. What did a nine-year-old need with his own mini apartment? Who knows? But Trumps could no doubt afford to provide their son with these perks. Barron's living room was complete with its own kitchen, living room, and even quarters for his nanny as well as Melania. Considering how fully stocked his setup was, it definitely sounds like moving into the White House was actually a downgrade for him. However, when Barron did live in the White House, he did have access to things like a bowling alley, a basketball court, a movie theater, a games room, a swimming pool, and much more. Certainly plenty to keep any young man busy. Over in Manhattan, however, for many years, the Trump family lived in the top three floors of the iconic Trump 
tower with the entire residence decorated in a gilded and opulent design. Way up high in his penthouse on Fifth Avenue, the family enjoyed nearly 11,000 sprawling square feet of living space across three levels, one of which was Barron's. Trump took Forbes on a tour of their New York crib during the last presidential election, boasting that the size was about 33,000 square feet, but it seems that he over-exaggerated a little bit. He had an office on the 26th floor in the building, so living and working here was easy even a private elevator to reach it. These days, it's said that Trump's massive penthouse here would be worth an estimated $54 million or more. And then there's Mar-a-Lago, the Trump fam's crown jewel. Nestled in Palm Beach, Florida, this estate was often dubbed the Winter White House. It boasts 126 rooms, tennis courts, and a private beach club. The epitome of opulence. After Donald was no longer president, he and his family took up Mar-a-Lago as their main residence. This property boasts 58 bedrooms, 33 bathrooms, and 12 fireplaces throughout. In 2021, it was confirmed that Barron was enrolled in a private school in Palm Beach. The exclusive school the Barron is attending now is the Oxbridge Academy, from which he will graduate in 2024. Tuition costs here are currently over 34K per year. While when Barron isn't busy with his studies, he can take in the luxurious setting of the family home. Mar-a-Lago always served as the Trump family's upscale weekend getaway and has also hosted a number of high power visitors over the years. The mansion was constructed between 1924 and 1927 for the socialite and post serial heiress Marjorie Merriweather Post, who inherited her father's serial empire when she was 27 after his tragic suicide. 20 acre property offers 128 or 126 rooms these days and spans the entire width of the island Palm Beach is on, from the Atlantic Ocean to the intercoastal waterway. The Spanish Moorish style mansion had exterior stone imported from Italy as well as tens of thousands of antique tiles dating back to the 15th century that came from a castle in Cuba. Many fixtures were gold-plated, and in the end, Post's project went eight times over budget, a lot of which was spent on the lavish living room. Here, there was a statement ceiling that was a replica of the thousand-wing ceiling in Venice, and this, plus the walls, was covered in a ton of gold leaf too. Inside, Mar-a-Lago spends a whopping 62,500 square feet of space and the rooms are opulent as you might expect. When Post had the mansion constructed, there was a mix of styles throughout. After some sneaky bartering, Donald Trump scored Mar-a-Lago in 1985 from the Post family for the mere price of $8 million, which included the property itself and all of the antique furnishings. He further turned Mar-a-Lago into a private club in 1995 to help turn a profit from this massive estate. He promised to carry out a restoration of the property in order to do so. Trump spent millions on the expensive restoration, which included a number of additions to the property. He built a 20,000 square foot ballroom with a rumored $7 million in gold leaf, added two swimming pools, a beauty salon, and a spa, and even spent 100,000 each on four gold plated sinks in the new ballroom. These days, Donald, Melania, and Barron maintain private quarters in a separate area of the Mar-a-Lago mansion, and it serves as their primary residence. Luxury cars are also a must for the Trumps. Donald Trump has been known to roll around in high-end vehicles like Rolls Royces, Mercedes, and even a custom gold-plated Cadillac. Melania is no stranger to the driver's seat of a luxury car either. And when Barron's driving, he's got a fleet of posh rides waiting for him. The Trump family's penchant for luxury extends into the water. They own a fleet of impressive boats and yachts. Trump's 86-meter yacht, fittingly named Trump Princess is a floating symbol of their love for the finer things in life. Now, it is important to note that the Trump family's extravagant lifestyle has its fair share of critics and fans. Detractors argue it's an over-the-top display of wealth, while supporters view it as a testament to the American dream. Regardless of your perspective, there's no denying that the Trump family knows how to live large, and they do so in style. Well, that wraps up our look into the lavish life of the Trump family. Answer this question before you go. 
If you had a fortune as big as the Trumps, what would you want to spend most of it on first? Let me know in the comments down below what you would treat yourself with and do not forget to hit subscribe and turn on those notifications. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.